Today I'm going to show you how to make Glaive Hyperpop type beats. First we need some guitar. If you don't have access to a guitar, I would highly recommend using loops. It just so happens I've got some free ones down in the link below. Now if you're playing or programming it yourself, you need to make sure to have two separate performances of the part. So you can pan them left and right and make it really wide and nice. Throw some effects on there. So we go from this to this. Another thing I like to do is automate reverb for the intro. So it kind of has this sense of like being really far away and then coming closer. What you would do to get this kind of effect is just take any reverb. I have the Valhalla Vintage Verb right here and you want to automate the mix knob. So then we, I put it to about 74% and then as you can kind of see, just have it fading to zero. And here's what that sounds like. The reason I did this was just to make it really clear when the verse started. Next I added a re-space to help fill out the low end. For these kind of beats, a lot of the time on the second half of the verse, there'll be a secondary instrument that comes in. Sometimes it can be a synth or an additional guitar part. But in this case, I actually decided to go with a little Mellotron string. To help make it sound a little less stock, I ended up adding some Valhalla Vintage Verb just to kind of give it a sense of space and sit in the background. An auto filter and then portal. And here's what that sounds like. Something cool to mess with with these kind of beats is using your guitar or main loop sound as a transition right before the hook. You can do a lot of different things, but all I did was take the end of the loop, drag it onto a separate, and then just reversed it. Sometimes I'll pitch one of them up 12 just to kind of make it a little different. I feel like these moments are cool because they help signal the hook and make it hit a lot harder. Then we have a little transitional sound right here. What I did to get that was actually take one of these chords from the hook guitar, put it on a separate channel, added some shimmer, and then I resampled it. This is something I do all the time. Once I do that, I'm gonna reverse it and voila. Next comes the hook. So I wanted that nice little finger style pick for the verse, but I really wanted it to sound nice and open and big for the hook. So I got my guitar once again. The point is just getting that really nice open full sound. Once again, doubling it up, panning it left and right. That sounded pretty good, but I wanted it to sound a little bit more unique. I added this Maserati acoustic plugin, thermal, just to kind of degrade it, a gate, a clipper, and some EQ. Next, we got the bass. With the bass, you usually just want to play the root notes of whatever chords your main melody is playing. I find at the end of four to eight bars are a good place to do these little pitch bend effects. Just a little EQ to tame the highs. Then we got the drums. Something I do a lot is use this trap type pocket for the first part of the hook. And then for the second part of the hook, I'll go to this more indie rock type vibe. For that indie rock part, I like to use a live bass just to kind of give it more of that organic feel. I ended up using Trillion on the rock P bass setting, using this free plugin, Bod, and then just a little EQ to help it sit in the mix more. Another thing I did was open up the chords to be less broken up on the second half. Going from this to this. And then for that second part, I brought in that same Mellotron string from the verse. Something I like to do is add a little bit different of a fill before the second hook, just to make it different. Something I also like to do for these kind of beats is add effects to the master. And one of the things I use a lot is this Shaper Box plugin. Now lastly, we got the master. Now I actually got the God Particle working on this. This will really help your master have that punch and loudness to it. Here's what the beat sounds like all together. 